started. All right, so number one, I'll say a word. You have to write two of the special sounds that are in the word, guys. The lines are one on top of the other, okay? We've done this before, but just a reminder. So you have three separate sections. On number one, you write the sounds one on top of the other, okay? So let's get started. First word is chopping, chopping. Two sounds you hear in the word, chopping, chopping, like if I'm chopping something, chopping. Next one, the word is postcard, postcard. Write the two sounds you hear in postcard. And the last word is crunchy, crunchy, <clears throat> crunchy. Okay, again, for number one, your words are chopping, postcard, and crunchy. Okay, number two, you have to mark the word, mark the bubble next to the words that have A, like in steak, but that's on your own. So I'm jumping down to number four, guys. So you can skip two and three. I'm going to four. That's the next one I have to do with you. Okay. So write the compound nouns, compound words. That's what compound nouns are. Okay, first one is woodpecker. Woodpecker. Yes, write the whole word on that one line. Woodpecker. Woodpecker. And next word, grandson, grandson, grandson. Okay, again, for number four, the words were woodpecker and grandson, okay? So number two, three, and five, you do on your own. Two, you have to mark the word that has that sound that says A, like in steak. So read the word and you'll hear the A in it, okay? Um, and it has to have the E-A-A -A in steak. Number three, you have to circle all the special sounds. And number five, just like last week, it tells you to read the sentence, underline the verb two times. I did this on the board yesterday. Underline the verb two times, 
circle the adverb and draw an arrow from the adverb to the verb. I did this on the board yesterday and you've been doing it in your book, okay? So that is it. We don't have a back today, so you don't have to worry about anything on the back, okay? All right, that's your